What's going on everyone? Four years ago, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving went to Brooklyn to team up and win some championships. And since then, it has just been a roller coaster ride. The first year, both players were injured, so didn't play. Year two, Kevin Durant was a toe away from being in the NBA Finals. Last year, they get uh, eliminated and swept by the Boston Celtics. And the hope was, okay, we got Ben Simmons. You know, James Harden comes. He ends up leaving. And then, and then you have all the Kyrie drama, right? And then they get Ben Simmons. And then Kyrie, we get into the offseason. And Kyrie's going. He's staying. He's all over the place. Kevin Durant hasn't talked to the front office, and it's just been an absolute mess and disaster for the Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant or not. This has just been an absolute just disastrous couple years for them. But it just got officially worse. Kevin Durant has requested a trade from the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Brooklyn, very likely, will honor that trade. I think Brooklyn just wants to be done. We have seen all the reports and all the rumors that Kyrie Irving uh, want, it still wants out and that the Lakers trade is still on the table, that it is very likely that Kyrie will end up on the Lakers uh, even after he opted in uh, because that was the only real way that Kyrie could go to a team like the Lakers because they couldn't do a sign and trade because it would have hard capped them. So they had to have him opt in and then they could do a trade. So I imagine that that's probably going to take place and then we're going to get a Kevin Durant trade. What that trade is, is yet to be seen. This is literally breaking news. This just happened. Um, but you got to imagine, you're going to have every team in the league offering whatever they possibly can to go get Kevin Durant. Um, there are teams that I think I, the Phoenix Suns could offer a really great package, stuff like that, to, to really get it. Now, obviously, he's not going to go to a team like Detroit or OKC. Uh, I don't think realistically he's going to go back to the Golden State Warriors, although they could offer an incredible rebuild package, um, things like that. But Brooklyn's very likely going to hit the reset button, and then we're going to see what develops from there. Um, I think Kyrie Irving, he's going to end up being traded. He's going to go to the Lakers, most likely. Um, now, obviously, that could change, but from all the reports, nobody wanted Kyrie, and it makes so much sense. I mean, most teams either have a point guard or they just don't have a need for Kyrie Irving. You know, it's just like, or they just don't want the headache, especially with what just happened. I mean, the, the Brooklyn Nets never really got off the ground, unfortunately. And it was a great idea. There was a lot of hope there, you know, and the, the thinking was like, you know, you're getting two of the best scorers in the game on the same team. And then you go and get James Harden. And it's like, wow, man, like this might be the best trio ever assembled. And they just, from day one, were never able to get off the ground. The healthiest they ever were, we got a glimpse of like what they could have been. And they very likely could have won the NBA Finals. I mean, like I said, Kevin Durant was a toe line away from sending the Milwaukee Bucks home and being in the Finals. But unfortunately, it never played out like that. And now we're never going to know what would have happened with Kyrie and Kevin Durant. Because I think Kyrie ultimately goes with LeBron to the Lakers. I mean, the reports to this day are still that this is going to happen. That the Brooklyn Nets are just want to unload him. Now, I don't think that the Nets are going to want to take Westbrook. However, now that uh, you know Ke uh, Kevin Durant is gone, uh, maybe they would. Maybe they would take Westbrook uh, just to have him on the books for a year, and then that money's gone, and then you trade Kevin Durant, get some young pieces, and now you have the cap space, and you're kind of building around Ben Simmons. So it might actually make more sense now for Brooklyn to take Kyrie, uh, sorry, Russell Westbrook for Kyrie than ever before because you're likely trading Kevin Durant. But... Anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think about the whole Brooklyn disaster? You know, what did you think about the Kyrie thing? And do you think that, you know, did you ever really think that they could have won a championship? Or do you think it was just kind of all smoke and mirrors? Like you had too many, you know, uh, personalities, to put it nicely, on this team. Um, you know, what team do you think will trade for Kevin Durant? What Or what team would you like to see him on? You know, I, I don't think, I think the pool is going to be very limited because you need to give up assets that are going to be enough to entice Brooklyn. Um, and you know you're going to have bidding wars and all kinds of stuff. I mean, Kevin Durant is arguably the best player in the league, if not at least top three. So any team he goes to is an immediate contender, and I think he's going to go to a contending team. Um, I think Phoenix Suns are likely in the mix. Um, I mean, you could even make an argument with Milwaukee Bucks if they can – you know, give up some pieces. I just don't know. They don't really have a, a lot of assets and young guys. Um, but if they could end up working out a deal that way, maybe Boston. If you're Boston, do you trade? Do you trade Brown? You know, and maybe get a Kevin Durant. I don't know. I mean, I, I think that that's an interesting thing. Uh, you know, if you're the if you're the uh, Clippers, do you trade like a Paul George? 
and uh, and try to get him. I mean, I just think that the the possibilities are endless for Kevin Durant. I'll really have to think of some. Maybe we'll do a, like a deep dive video and discussion to kind of break down our thoughts and opinions on where he goes, where he lands, stuff like that. Um, I just think that it's it, whatever team he goes to is is immediately going to be arguably the best team in the league because I don't like I said I don't think he goes to OKC. I don't think he goes to Detroit or Sacramento or something like that. He's going to go to a team that he feels I can win a championship there, get the best assets you can for me, and I want out. Um, I'm I'm curious how fast this is going to happen. I can see Kyrie being moved within the next like few days, and then Kevin Durant. Uh, you know they probably take their time with him. But I think Kyrie Irving, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Kyrie isn't isn't moved in the next like three days, three, four days. I think that that deal happens. And I do think that this opens the door a lot more for the Lakers because now you can just do a Westbrook for a Kyrie swap. Well, I mean, you'd have to add in like a Joe Harris or something, but assuming that you can now do that now and it makes a lot more sense for Brooklyn because very likely you're trying to tank and two, um, you know, you, you, you'd be hugely beneficial to have that Westbrook money fall off your books. But last little thing is like, also, what do you think that the Nets should do with Ben Simmons? Like, do you keep Ben Simmons and sort of build around him and then, you know, try to recoup some nice young assets? Like, you know, like, let's say for the trade of the Suns. Like, what if you could get Aiton and Bridges, right? And now you have Aiton, Bridges, and Simmons as, like, your core for the Brooklyn Nets. I think that that would be a really good deal for them. That could be something that really works. Um, you know, that sort of breaks down in that manner. Um, or do you just unload everybody? You know, you trade Kevin Durant for whatever you can get, the best assets possible, which you're going to get a really good return for Kevin Durant. And then, you know, you, you do the Laker deal for Westbrook. And, uh, you know, maybe you can try to get like a THT in that, um, you know, just to like have that young asset that's a part of it. Give up, like I said, a Joe Harris, Kyrie Irving, and I don't know, maybe a Drummond or something, you know, just to here you go, unload this because you'd be rebuilding at that point. And so, you know, you do that, trade Kevin Durant, and then see what, what's the best offer for Ben Simmons, or do, you, or do you run Ben Simmons for, like, the year and then try to move him? You know, because Ben Simmons' value is probably extremely low right now. Um, but if you're Brooklyn, are you just like, I just want to be done with any traces of this, this disaster the last four years? I mean, I don't knock Brooklyn. I know a lot of people are going to talk smack and a lot of people are going to, you know, have nothing good to say about Brooklyn and how they dropped the ball and they went all in. And even, you know, what, in 2013 or whatever it was, when they pushed all their chips to the table again and tried to go all in and stuff. I, I always respect organizations doing whatever it took. Every team in the NBA would have taken Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant four years ago if they could have. You know, it's just unfortunate that it didn't work out. It's unfortunate that, you know, Kyrie, uh, you know, just didn't want to play basketball. And Kevin Durant, you know, he is not that leader. You know what I mean? He's not that vocal. Like, dude, like, he should have been from day one. Like, Kyrie, I came here for you. Like, we came here together to win a championship. And I can't even rely on you. You know, like, I feel bad for Kevin Durant over anybody. You know, because he didn't really want to go to Brooklyn. He only went to Brooklyn for Kyrie. Like, he should have been in Kyrie's, you know, behind. You know, he should have been like, dude, like, I thought this was us. What happened? You know, and, and poor dude, he's just, like, sitting here trying to carry this team of, like, role players. Like, if he had Kyrie from day one, you know, Ben Simmons, James Harden, not just that, James Harden probably went in the left. He left because of the mess, because of the drama. He was like, I want to get out of here. You know, so I just, I just think at this point, if you're the Nets, blow everything up. Kyrie asked for the request to trade, you do it. You know, I mean, obviously, you, you want to get the best return. Don't just trade him for a bag of chips. But, you know, go get rid of Kyrie just to get rid of him. Here you go. Lakers, he's your problem now. Give us whatever. Who cares? I, I know that might sound a little silly to some people, but, like, you're not going to get a good package for Kyrie Irving one way or another. At least, at this point, you're losing Kevin Durant, so let the money fall off your books. Now you don't have to pay anybody after this year. Or you could just release Westbrook. Like, whatever you want to do. There's ways to go about it. The Westbrook trade made so much sense for the Brooklyn Nets now. Um, so, you know, you do that. Kevin Durant, you get some nice trade packages. And then I would trade Ben Simmons. Like, here. Like, go trade him to another team, you know, that that wants him. And then there we go. You know, move on from there. But anyway, again, love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.